Barcelona, a city that rises between the mountains and the sea, offers a splendid range of elevated points from which to contemplate the city. And today we are going to take you to the top of 14 places with wonderful views of Barcelona. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. We are going to take you on a tour of Barcelona from above, with a list organized from lowest to highest. That is, at the end of the list, our favorite viewpoints in Barcelona. As always, in the description of the video, we will put links to the places mentioned where you can check where appropriate, prices and opening times. On the top floor of the El Corte Inglés Center in Plaza de Catalunya, there is a gourmet space known as La Plaza. The tables where you can eat are arranged in an ample space with large windows overlooking Paseo de Gracia and Plaza de Catalunya. Even if you are not going to eat, enjoy a coffee with privileged views. Access is free during the store's opening hours. It's almost always very busy. The nearest metro station is Catalunya, opposite a Corte Inglés. The Teleférico de Montjuic, the Montjuic cable car, is a tourist transport that takes you up from the top station of the Montjuic funicular railway to very close to the Montjuic castle. In enclosed cabins, you will fly above the trees of the park with views mainly of the park and Barcelona at your feet. It's a popular attraction for tourists visiting Barcelona, but we find it quite expensive and the views, while nice, are not much different from those you get without taking the cable car. There is another cable car in Barcelona, higher on our list, which we believe offers a superior experience. The cable car is pay as you go. The lower station can be reached by the Montjuic funicular or by buses 55 and 150. Visitors to Parkwell enjoy splendid views of Barcelona from the Cerro de las Tres Cruces and the Plaza Hipostila within the park, as well as from the Mirador de Juan Sales on the park's perimeter. Antoni Gaudí's failed urban design, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was built on a hill overlooking the, at the time, distant urbanized center of Barcelona and the Mediterranean Sea. There is a fee to enter park well, access to the Mirador de Joan Sales is free. You can get near the park on Metro Line 3 or Bus 24. The Arenas de Barcelona shopping center makes our list because of its fantastic circular terrace, which offers 360 views of part of Barcelona. The shopping center occupies the former Arenas Bullring. It is a large circular terrace offering views of this part of Barcelona, including Plaza de España and the entrance to Montjuic Park. The terrace can be reached using a panoramic lift located outside the building. There is a fee to use this lift. It is also possible to go up to the terrace using the lifts and escalators available inside the shopping center free of charge. The España metro station is just outside the shopping center. We return to the Montjuic mountain because at 173 meters above sea level, at the top of the park, stands an emblematic fortress, the Castel de Montjuic, the Montjuic Castle. The castle's current appearance dates back to the 18th century, after undergoing renovations due to the damage caused during the War of the Spanish Succession. With a privileged location, it enjoys a full panoramic view of the city of Barcelona and extensive control of of access from the sea. Access to the castle is paid, but if you don't want to go inside, you can enjoy the views of the port from the viewpoints outside, which are free to visit. You can get there by cable car or bus 150.
you don't have to go far from the castle to continue enjoying beautiful views of Barcelona, both from the Mirador del Alcalde and from the Mirador del Poble Sec. These are views of much of the city of Barcelona with the surrounding mountains and the sea in the background. From here it's possible to identify several of Barcelona's landmarks. Access to the viewpoints is free and an easy way to get to them is by bus 150. The modern Barceló Raval Hotel is located in the heart of the Raval district. On its rooftop, it has a panoramic terrace with 360 views of Barcelona, especially of the old town and Montjuic mountain. The shape of the viewpoint is very cool, and so are the views of the city from near and far. There is a bar on the terrace for a drinking style, but if you don't want a drink, you don't have to pay to access the terrace. Take the lift on the right, the only one going up to the top floor. The hotel is a similar distance from Liceo Metro Station, line 3, and parallel lines 2 and 3. We return to Montjuic Park to go up to the terraces of the Museo Nacional de Arte de Catalunya, the Catalonia's National Art Museum. You can take the lift up to the terraces of the Palau Nacional, the grandiose building that houses one of Barcelona's most interesting museums. From the top of the palace, you can enjoy spectacular views of Barcelona. The entrance ticket to the museum includes access to the terraces, but if you don't want to visit the museum, which we we highly recommend, you can buy a very affordable ticket that only gives access to the terraces. The nearest metro station is España lines 1 and 3. As an inexpensive alternative, the stairs in front of the museum also offer beautiful views of the city. And we enter the top 6 of our list with 6 spectacular viewpoints our favorites in the city of Barcelona. The truth is that it has been difficult to establish an order of priority among the top six. We love them all. The Mirador de Colón, the Columbus Monument, is one of Barcelona's icons. The construction of the tribute to the navigator was part of the great reform of Barcelona's seafront on the occasion of the Universal Exhibition of 1888. Inside the column, there is a tiny lift that takes tourists up to a small viewpoint located almost literally at the foot of Columbus. The viewing platform offers panoramic views of the old town with La Ramblas in front and the port of Barcelona. There isn't much room to move around, but the views make up for the narrowness of the viewpoint. To take photos and videos without glare, you'll have to take advantage of the spaces between the iron work that forms part of the monument's structure. There is a fee to access the viewpoint and the nearest metro station is Drasanes on Line 3. Unlimited Barcelona is one of Barcelona's newest viewpoints. It stands 70 meters high on the top floor of the Torre Urquinaona, a skyscraper in the rationalist style of the last century that rises above all its neighbors in the center of Barcelona. The top floor is a large space with furniture where visitors can move around freely. Being at a point in Barcelona where the old town meets the new town and with no major obstacles in front of it, the 360 degree views it offers are sensational. The visit can be assisted by an audio guide on your smartphone that provides interesting information about what you are seeing through the windows. There is a fee to visit and the nearest metro station is Urquinaona, almost on the doorstep. In 2003, Barcelona skyline incorporated its most futuristic icon, the Glorious Tower, formerly known as the Akbar Tower. The 144-meter-high tower is the work of the architect Jean Nouvel. The external structure of the building is made up of glass, with different colors on the inside. Reddish tones dominate the lower part, while blue and white dominate the upper part. 
The recently inaugurated Mirador Torre Glorias, Torre Glorias viewpoint offers panoramic views of the city from its 125 meter height. Before going up to the viewpoint, you'll pass through a space located underground called the Hyper Mirador, Hyper Viewpoint, which with the help of technology allows you to contemplate Barcelona as a living space. It is a very interesting and even surprising part of the visit. The lift ride up is quick and you'll soon be at the observation deck with incredible views of Barcelona. Above the observation deck is a suspended installation called Cloud Cities, which you pay for separately. Access to the tower is paid and the nearest metro station is Glorious Online 1. Third on the list is the Aeri del Port, Barcelona's port cable car, which transports passengers between La Barceloneta and the Montjuic Park, passing over part of the port of Barcelona. The cable car and its two towers have been part of the Barcelona landscape since its inauguration in 1931. In 10 minutes, the red cable car cabins travel a distance of 1292 meters, suspended from two large metal towers that are part of Barcelona's historical and artistic heritage. The ascent to the tower at the Barceloneta neighborhood end is by lift, and even before boarding the cable car, you can enjoy beautiful views of the region. When it's time to enter the cabin, you get a bit of butterflies in your stomach, but the departure and the 10 minute ride go by very quickly. It's pure enjoyment. The cable car is a paid attraction and if you want to save money, buy a one-way ticket only. Buses V17 and V19 take you up to the Barceloneta Tower. More than 500 meters above sea level at the top of the Colcerola mountain range is the Parc d'Attractions del Tibidabo, Barcelona's amusement park, a park in the purest vintage style. From the park, both outside and inside, you can enjoy a spectacular panoramic view of the city. Next to the park is the expiatory temple of the Sacred Heart, designed by the architect Enric Sagnier, which looks very much like the Sacre Coeur in Paris. There is no charge to enjoy the views, but if you want to enter the park, you have to buy a ticket. You can access the park by the Tibidabo Funicular, which is not part of Barcelona's public transport system, or by the Valvidrera Funicular and the 111 minibus, which are part of the city's transport system. Finally, at the top of the list, in a position that we have already indicated was interchangeable with any other in our top six, is the Turo de la Rovira. At the top of the Turo de la Rovira, Turo in Catalan means hill, are the remains of the anti-aircraft batteries that protected Barcelona during the Spanish Civil War. The site is also known as the Bunkers del Carmel. At the end of the war, the site of the batteries was converted into makeshift housing occupied by immigrants. 
giving rise to the neighborhood of Los Cañones. The neighborhood was abandoned at the end of the 20th century and in the 21st century work began on the recovery and restoration of the patri structures, with the aim of preserving the legacy of Barcelona's most recent historical past. Work was completed in 2011 when the new space was inaugurated, which today forms part of Barcelona's History Museum. Several areas of the former battery have been converted into small museums. The views of Barcelona from the top of the Turo de la Rovira are very beautiful and cover the whole city. It is possible to visit the viewpoints during the day, even when the museum facilities are closed. And this was our tour of Barcelona from above. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. As always, if you have any questions related to the subject of this video, please use the commentary box to ask. We'll be happy to try to help you. Of course, your trip to Barcelona does not end here. Now you will see on the screen our basic guide to Barcelona with all the information you need to prepare a perfect trip to the capital of Catalonia. Be sure to take a look at it. We'll see you again in that video.